an internet meme comes to life and starts attacking young people in a community. Now they have to convince their parents that the monster is real and not a collective hysteria. Today we're going to recap the movie, Grim Cuddy, from 2022. After putting her child to sleep, Melinda goes back to her room and starts messing around on the internet. At that moment she ends up reading about challenges shared on social networks that make young people attack themselves. Meanwhile, Brandon, Melinda's son gets up and goes to the kitchen. There, he takes a knife and starts walking through the house and comes across Grim Cuddy. Immediately, Brandon runs towards his mother, who is startled to see the boy with a knife in his hand. Still thinking about what she had just read, she begins to ask Brandon to put the knife down, but the boy surprisingly sticks the knife into his mother's stomach. A few months later, Asha, a YouTuber, is watching her latest video. At the moment, she has only 9 subscribers and her last video had 12 views. Asha lives with her parents, Amir and Leah, and her brother, Cameron. She believes that her parents are more proud of Cameron, who is a perfect son and plays in a jazz band with older children while Asha gave up her career as an athlete and decided to try her luck as an influencer. As a strict man, Amir created a rule for the family. Every week they have to spend at least one day without their cell phones. Combining the useful with the pleasant, the family leaves their cell phones at home while they go to see another performance by Cameron. Bored, Asha decides to go and talk to her friend Emily while their parents watch the performance. Using Emily's phone, Asha sees that her video has had one more view and now has also a comment. While watching Cameron, the parents of the girls talk. Emily's father tells Amir that he saw an article in the newspaper about a dangerous challenge on the internet, where young people are given strange orders, such as attacking their own parents. Upon hearing this, Amir, who already dislikes the idea of his children being connected to technology, gets worried and decides to go and find Asha. When he finds his daughter, he sees that she is looking at Emily's cell phone. Very disappointed, tries to explain to the girl that this addiction to technology is not healthy for her and that she should stop wasting time on this kind of thing. At this point, Asha replies that, for her, wasting time would be running around in circles after school, alluding to the athletics career she has decided to give up. When he gets home, Cameron plays video games with his friends while his parents fiddle with their cell phones. While Leah watches the daughter's stories, Amir reads about the dangers of letting children use their cell phones for too long. At the same time, Emily's parents text Ash's parents about the Grim Cuddy challenge. Concerned, Amir and Leah call their children to ask them about the challenge. Both Asha and Cameron say they've never heard of the meme or the challenge, but Amir and Leah insist saying that the challenge is causing many young people to end up dying or hurting people close to them. Just then, Asha gets angry, because believes it's impossible that she or her brother will be able to follow this challenge. In an attempt to calm her down, Amir says that he can't imagine his children doing this, but asks that they not do anything reckless. Later, Asha starts seeing stories of all her friends saying the same thing. They've all been warned, through their parents, about the grim cutty challenges. This seems to have the opposite effect, as some young people are now looking for the challenge link. Getting ready for bed, Amir and Leah seem confused by the whole situation. To make matters worse, Leah receives news of yet another young person who has been injured because of the meme. Worried, the two decide that they need to find out as much as possible about Grim Cuddy in order to protect their children from this danger. While the couple begin their research, an entity rises towards the front door. While listening to an ASMR video on her cell phone, Asha prepares a piece of toast. Suddenly she sees Grim Cuddy approaching with a knife in his hand, and starts shouting. Hearing the scream, the parents of the girl run towards their daughter. Asha drops the knife she was using for her bread, while desperately saying that there's someone in the house. After a brief search, Amir finds no one, but decides to call the police. In describing the invader, Asha characterizes exactly the image of the meme, making her parents worried about her thinking that the young may be taking part in the challenges. After the description, the police officer claims to be unlikely that she had actually seen such a person. Since he received similar testimonies from several different places, it would be impossible for the same person to be breaking into all the houses at the same time. The fact that Asha was watching videos on her cell phone the moment she saw Grim Cuddy is the last straw for Amir, who decides to confiscate all access she has to Grim Cuddy and the internet. Despite much protest from the girl, her father enters the room and takes her cell phone and laptop. The next morning, Asha wakes up and tries to fiddle with her cell phone, but soon remembers what happened the night before. She walks into the kitchen and sees her parents and brother waiting for her with a black box on the table. Amir and Leah explain to their children that this is a detox box. The idea is to spend a week without touching their cell phones or computers, putting everything in this box until next week. 
However, Asha protests because she thinks the idea is pointless and is nervous that her parents won't believe what she saw the day before. Unlike his sister, Cameron seems calm with the idea and puts down his laptop and the control inside the box. However, Asha remains undeterred and won't let go of her cell phone. A tug of war begins between father and daughter with both trying to take the phone from the other's hand, until Asha sees Grim Cuddy under the table and screams in fright. At this point, Amir and Leah look confused and the girl doesn't even try to explain herself, she just walks away, thinking about what she's seen. Later, Asha wakes up her brother and asks to use his spare laptop. It turns out that the reason Cameron didn't question his parents earlier was because it wouldn't change anything for him, since the boy could still use his other computer. Just then, Asha logs onto Twitter and notices that her timeline is at a standstill, as if the whole city was going through the same thing as her. In order not to risk, Amir unplugs the router, knocking out the laptop's connection. The only way Asha can connect to the internet now is with her cell phone. She then walks quietly into the living room and uses a knife to open the detox box. Picking up her cell phone, Asha sees two messages from Cassidy, the girl who commented on her video. The girl makes a video call with Asha, but the noise from the two makes Asha's parents go downstairs to check what's going on. The young woman runs, taking the knife with her. But Amir realizes that someone has opened the box and starts searching the house. Suddenly, Asha bumps into Grim Cuddy again and runs into the bathroom. She tries to shut the door in his face, but she's not fast enough and he manages to cut her with a knife. Minutes later, the couple find Asha injured in the bathroom and with the knife in her hands. Leah, who works in a hospital, treats Asha's cut while her husband tries to understand why the girl is hurting herself and how to resolve the situation. Not knowing what to say, Asha ends up trying to convince them that everything was an accident, that she used the knife to open the box and, in trying to get away from her parents, accidentally cut herself. Another problem is school the next day. Asha wants to go to school while her father prefers her not to leave the house. However, Leah knows that they wouldn't be able to guarantee that she wouldn't run away from home, since they both work, and decides to let her daughter go to school. That day, very few students show up, because the vast majority of parents preferred them to stay at home. The principal, trying to help the situation, hired a lecturer to give a presentation on the dangers of social media. During the lecture, Cassidy and Asha decide to leave the auditorium to talk in the bathroom. There, Asha tells her that she saw Grim Cuddy and he hit her in the arm. As they talk, the two realize that their parents have used the exact same phrases, with the exact same words, leading the two to realize that someone or something is putting these ideas into the minds of the region's parents. Needing to use the internet, the girls run away from school to the house of Oliver, a rich boy who is taking advantage of his parents' trip to throw a party. Oliver's party is even in honor of Grim Cuddy, because because of him no one has to go to school anymore. For this reason, one of the boys at the party has the brilliant idea of everyone taking a knife and pretending to be possessed by the meme. After closing a video he was watching, Oliver hands the girls his laptop. They start researching where their parents would be getting the same phrases from and end up on Melinda's blog, which has several posts about the dangers of social media and the detox box. All the phrases said by the parents of the two girls seem to have come exactly from this blog. Cassidy says that this is clearly the woman who was attacked with the knife by her son, and when questioned by Asha why she thinks that, the young woman says that just reading the blog made her want to attack Melinda. When looking at the time, Cassidy says that she has to leave, Asha tries to convince her to stay a little longer, but the girl says she doesn't want to worry her parents. Asha continues to insist and Cassidy realizes that her friend worries too much about things and says that she expected her to be calmer. Then Cassidy says something that would change everything for Asha, she says that calm people are able to stay calm even in the worst possible situations. While all this is going on, at Leah's work in the hospital, more young people who have been injured by Grim Cuddy are arriving. As if that wasn't enough, Amir calls Leah and tells her that he went to the school and couldn't find Asha. So the couple decide to meet at home to check if their daughter has gone there. At home, Leah receives the video of the young people enjoying the party in honor of Grim Cuddy and they realize that Asha is in the video. Immediately, the two speed towards the location, which is easily found thanks to the giant name of the meme at the entrance. It's already evening, but Asha is still using Oliver's laptop. She tries to find more information about Melinda, but to no avail. The young woman then decides to contact her brother and ask him to see if he can find the blogger's address. Cameron initially says he won't do that, because he doesn't want to do anything on the internet that could activate the various defense mechanisms that their father has set up on the router. But Asha notices Grim Cuddy approaching through the window and begs for Cameron's help, who decides to help her. The girl posts about Melinda's blog on Twitter and runs home, doing everything she can to escape the entity. During her escape, 
Asha realizes that no one other than her is able to see the meme, causing her to question her sanity. Grim Cuddy eventually catches up with Asha and slashes her once again, now in the leg. Luckily, Amir and Leah manage to get there before anything worse happens. Once again, everything seems to point to Asha hurting herself. On Amir's cell phone, a notification arrives that someone is using the Wi-Fi in his house. Realizing that it can only be Cameron, Amir and Leah start to worry about him, causing the entity to appear to attack him too. When they get home, they find the boy unconscious. This creates a certain distance between Amir and Asha, especially as she confesses that the boy only used the internet at her request. When she wake up, Asha realizes that she is in a hospital bed next to her brother. Leah explains that she's going to see a psychiatrist so that they can try to understand what's going on with the girl. But as soon as her mother leaves the room, Asha opens her brother's laptop and sees that he has managed to find Melinda's address. At that moment, Asha takes the key to her mother's car and starts walking through the hospital, where she meets Cassidy, who has also been attacked by the meme. The young woman then tells her friend that she believes that the entity works on the basis of hysteria, more specifically the hysteria of the parents. When Asha's parents started researching Grim Cuddy, he attacked her in the kitchen. Now, when the couple stayed worried about Cameron, he was attacked. After drawing these conclusions, Asha decides to confront Melinda, returning to her room, Leah realizes that her daughter Asha is not there, but she sees the address on the notebook and decides to follow her. Arriving at Melinda's house, Asha mentions the blog and starts asking about Grim Cuddy, but the woman says she doesn't know what she's talking about. Melinda then says goodbye to Asha, who walks towards her mother's car, but she hears voices coming from inside the house and decides to investigate. At that moment, the teenager breaks into the house and finds Brandon's room, where he lives locked up. She tries to free him, but Melinda appears armed and once again, expels Asha from her home. Just then, Leah appears and takes her daughter out of the house. When the two get into the car, Asha tries to convince her mother of everything that is going on. Tired of this story, Leah gets nervous and lectures the girl while Asha sees Grim Cuddy approaching the car. In the midst of her stress, Leah punches the window and decides to go back to Melinda's house. The woman then begins to question her about the whole meme situation, about Brandon and all the other things she heard from her daughter in the car. The problem is that the two mothers' argument causes the entity to attack Brandon. When they hear the young man's screams, both run to the bedroom and see the boy flying away. Melinda despairs, for after a long time with everything under control, the meme has come back to terrorize her son, and it's all Leah and Ash's fault. During the confusion, Leah knocks Melinda down, causing Grim Cuddy to let Brandon go. As she recovers, the woman points the gun at Leah and Asha, but before she can fire, Brandon, once again, attacks his mother with a knife who ends up dying after rolling down the stairs. Then the boy collapses and Leah decides to take him to hospital. In the emergency room, Cameron is still sleeping and Amir decides to look at the history of his notebook, he then finds dozens of searches on Grim Cuddy. When he arrived at the hospital, Leah asks her daughter to wait in the lobby because she needs to speak to her husband. Meanwhile, Amir is scolding Cameron for everything he saw in the boy's laptop history. All this concern on Amir's part ends up invoking the meme. Arriving at the room Leah hugs her son, trying to calm him down. She tells Amir that there is nothing wrong with the children and that it is they, the parents, who have been wrong all this time. Leah asks Amir to trust her and take an injection, that it will make everything all right, but Amir doesn't seem convinced. Suddenly, some police officers arrive and ask if Leah is the one who brought Brandon, she says yes and the officers take her away. While she is being taken away, the woman insists that Amir trust her and take the injection. Cameron runs through the hospital, fleeing from the entity summoned by Amir's paranoia. Asha sees her brother passing by and runs after him. The two talk and Asha tells him that she saw Brandon eliminating his own mother so that Grim Cuddy would stop attacking him, and that it worked. Asha picks up a pair of scissors, and Cameron asks her if she intends to eliminate Amir, but she says she's not sure. Asha's plan is to try to finish off Grim Cuddy first, if she doesn't succeed, at least she'll make Amir care more about her by saving Cameron. Asha and Amir meet, both talking with one hand back, ready to attack with their respective weapons. The entity begins to pursue Cameron. To save her brother, the girl tells her father that she's been watching videos about the meme all day and that she's afraid of what she might end up doing. This causes Amir's concern to shift to Asha and Grim Cuddy is forced to let Cameron go. Just then, Asha runs and Amir goes after her. The entity finds the girl and the two begin to fight, with her scissors in dispute. But to Amir, who can't see Grim Cuddy, it looks like Asha is trying to hurt herself. He rushes towards his daughter to try and save her and ends up being hit in the stomach with a pair of scissors. 
Asha runs into the street and her father follows her once again. The girl knows that she will be attacked by Grim Cuddy and that she could be eliminated, but remembering Cassidy's words, she tries to remain calm even in this chaotic situation. The entity lifts her by the neck and Amir sees his daughter floating away. Grim Cuddy raises the knife, ready to eliminate the girl, but Amir finally believes in his daughter and decides to inject himself, saving the girl. Weeks later, Asha decides to record another video for her YouTube channel, answering questions that people ask her when they hear about the whole situation involving the meme. In the video, she says that her father didn't perish and that he's fine, despite the situation the family has been through. The young woman also says that nobody knows where Grim Cuddy came from or if he might come back one day, but that they will be better prepared to deal with it if he does. So what did you think of this movie? Leave it in the comments below. And if you liked the video, like and subscribe for more movie recaps. See you next time.